like project themselves in their gameplay. Oh, they're going their main, they're going non-remix. I guess I'm gonna try to match that vibe with my non-remix main as well. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like trying to figure out why people don't just like camp ledge as Bowser. <laughs> because I feel like that's really strong. <laughs> but it's pretty it good. Is pretty strong. Dude, what do I do about Bowser like flame can like insta flame cancels? Like as Falcon, my even my bear trades. I'm like, I don't know what to do to this. Like, yeah, I can't have you have them. to like play around the platforms and stuff. I think it's okay. This is this is really interesting to me because uh, like I don't play a lot of Falcon, but I play I, I, especially recently a decent amount of Ganon, and uh, and I have uh, a friend who is like complaining like as a Falcon player, like man, I just like Bowser's busted. I can't get around his flame, like all this stuff. But I've not had a lot of issues as Ganon, and I can't tell if that's Ganon specific or if it's like I just am not running into issues with it. Do you go, know what I mean? Go play Jaime. Go play yeah. Jaime. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can say that about anything, though, right? <laughs> no, but I mean he's just so precise with his flame cancels. Like it, it is very hard to get him. That makes sense. I feel like in general, like from the Bowser perspective, you you kind of worry about. If you flame cancel, then the other person can jump over it. So there's a mix up between fair and, and flame cancel. And it know. goes quite high. What once you mm -hmm. you short hop flame cancel, that flame coming from up up top below, Bowser mm -hmm. will land before you can full hop and like hit him. Yeah. So he's actionable. He can up tell. He can he can mess you up. It's it's really good. Um, it's obviously not as good against characters that have a projectile like mario or fox or you know whatever link because the fire doesn't stop any of that stuff mm -hmm. right that's interesting yeah, do you, do you, do you get up close like falcon it's surprisingly effective have you had issues with it when he's like approaching with the flame or just no he's he puts up the wall he puts up the flame wall yeah I see. it's high mate he's not approaching what are you well, talking, yeah. what are you talking <laughs> about <laughs> Yeah, I, I did have to use platforms. That was pretty much the only thing I could do was try to na uh, navigate through platforms. And like, th this was in some uh, mock best of five sets we did two days ago. And um, I basically just banned anything where that didn't have platforms. So I was like, well, Glacier and Smashville, I'm gonna get rid of those. He goes to Pokemon Stadium. I have had very little to work with. Yeah, I actually, I think, uh, I think Glacier would be better for you than Pokemon Stadium. Probably. That's probably right. I just don't really hate those slopes. I don't know. The slopes bother me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you... <laughs> People just aren't used gonna to them. I get, I get that. <laughs> but having having that platform go across the center of the stage is going to help you a lot more than the two at the end of uh, Stadium. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We got we to gotta legalize Delfino Plaza. Oh, that's I love our, that's Delfino. Like, Delfino's so cool, massive. man. But I really... I don't want... I, I don't think any stages where you can't ledge... The eye should be legal stages. Yeah, I yeah I don't like the really? I don't like the bottom. Well, yeah I don't know about ledge DI in particular, but I don't I don't like the the bottom platform. Yeah, the I I, I like I like going through it. No no ledge <laughs> DI, just like I think it makes the gap even wider with like Pika and Kirby, like the characters with the good recoveries that don't need it, you know. But I don't know. I mean. Uh, and it, and it's like it battle. certainly makes it harder to grab ledge for characters like a falcon or a fox or someone or DK. Right. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, I think just like my dislike for it is just as purely aesthetic. Like I just feel like anytime you weirdly grab a ledge because you're in a weird position and you happen to have your ECB or whatever it is, like that just looks weird to me. And I'm like, mm, I don't like the stage anymore. <laughs> Like I liked it when Corneria had like the the fake walls on the wings and you could DI into them and stuff, but it did. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. But it, it made for some weird like warping grabs sometimes. Yeah. So, like Justin didn't like it, so it's gone. Ledge DI is where uh, if you are riding the wall of the ledge, like say you're up being, you're ascending, and you're riding the wall about to like grab ledge or you're playing on stage, you can SDI towards the stage. And when you get hit by somebody while you're doing that, you won't be sent as far away. The DIing, SDIing into the ledge will reduce your knockback overall, and you can up B again and have another chance to recover. Yeah, so there's, there's no teching, so we can't tech the walls, but 
DIing into them at least gives you something. Wait a second. Were you player two? No, I, I was regular Falcon. I too owed him. Oh, okay. I don't know why it looked different on my screen. I just wasn't paying attention. Dogs. Yeah, the, the reason I don't know if I agree with you on the ledge DI is because I don't maybe know exactly where your your like line is on that type of stuff. Because I think that there's like different ways that things can like interact with ledge like Smashville's ledges are different than Dreamlands are different than a straight up ledge, like I don't know. Yeah, I think just like giving more characters more of an opportunity to recover is a good thing. Oh yeah. Yoshi's story dreamland, baby. I'm I'm all aboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who we got? Graham Glam. Yoshi's story dreamland is quite fun. Uh, I must admit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Number one stage, baby. Dude, Graham Glam versus Beef. I love Goomba Road. Goomba Road's very fun. I think I have Goomba Road in my in my proposed five stage list. Five stage list. I have a, I have a three stage list and a five stage list, and I didn't want to put off doing whatever I was doing at the time to make a seven stage list or whatever. <laughs> we need we need the music fixed on Goomba. I think the only thing that's a little I'm a little uncertain about Goomba is like if you're a, if you're like a what do you call it like a sky camping character giving you more than like additional platforms to work with makes me a little bit nervous but I haven't actually like played it enough to see if that's a real issue you know I mean the, th the thing about that is um, sky camping characters 